Morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm Richard from Dreams, head of e-commerce. Um, I've been with Dreams um, about a year and a half. Um, Dreams um, was acquired by Sun Investors uh, about two years ago. Um, and really over the, the, the time that I've been with the company, we've made um, a, a lot of changes in really um, completely overhauling Dreams as a business um, in terms of um, its branding, um, its perception, um, the values, um, and obviously my involvement in, in really overhauling the, uh, the e-commerce business and um, growing its share, really. So a um, little bit about Dreams. Firstly, uh, as Richard said, we're the leading bed specialist. We've got over 160 retail stores and the website at dreams.co.uk. Founded in 1985, so this is our 30th year this year. Committed to providing expert customer service and advice. And uh, one of the big things for Dreams really at the moment is about being the most recommended bed retailer. Uh, we retail mattresses, bed frames, divans, bedroom furniture and soft furnishings. And uh, a lot of our products actually made in the UK are Dreams Bed Factory. Owned by Sun European since 2013. Okay, so drivers for change. So what's really um, influenced, us, influenced us in making decisions to change our website? Obviously, speed. Um, everyone's desperate to do things quickly at the moment. And uh, for us, it's about performance, um, speed through the checkout, but also speed through the, the, uh, the entire site as well. Um, and we've completely overhauled um, our systems um, to, to achieve that, um, constantly monitoring speed um, and making tweaks and improvements um, throughout the journey to, to ensure that uh, you know, the, the, the optimum speed's reached. Making things simple. It should be easy. We're only selling beds. Um, often I think you know, um, there's an unnecessary complexity about things. We're always trying to just make, make things as, as, as light and as easy as possible. Um, the big one really for us and, and the driver for most of our changes really has been, has been making our site mobile and tablet friendly. Um, we actually started our journey um, just over a year ago when we moved on to a responsive site. Of thinking in terms of tablets, we were seeing the, um, you know, our, our share of, um, of tablet usage rising significantly. Um, over the last six months, I think we, we, we've come to realise that the tablet is actually starting to um, stabilise. Mobile is really taking off. And for us now, you know, mobile first. We're always thinking about the mobile first in, in anything that we do. Um, tablet, desktop afterwards. Obviously, we're here to talk about reducing abandonment. That's key to us. Increasing conversion goes without saying. Increasing ATV. And for us, also looking at uh, increasing the services and the delivery attachments with it. So the kind of things that we're thinking about at this stage is device and browser-specific requirements. Um, we know that there's different scenarios we need to cater for. Managing the customer journey, but also more importantly in, in, um, in, in really thinking about the, the unique circumstances of our customers because um, in no two journeys are really the same. And uh, also managing the customer's expectations through, through their process of shopping with Dreams. Um, the definition of user case scenarios, um, to us that's important that we understand how a customer is working through the site um, and being able to, to uh, understand and, and cater for those specifics. <coughs> One thing that we do a lot of is A-B testing. Um, before we, moved to re, uh, before we moved on to a new site that was responsive on our old platform, um, we'd done a lot of A-B testing to validate some of the changes that we wanted to make um, to see what uh, effect those had with our KPIs. Um, the ones that were successful, we took forward into the new build. The ones that weren't successful still gave us a learning. 
um, and we were able to tweak even, even those that had a negative influ influence uh, and turn those into a positive. Um, I think really important as well is, is flexibility to, to adapt solution. Nothing stays still, everything's changing all the time. Um, and I think um, when thinking about any, any kind of proposal or solution that you're looking at is making sure it's flexible. Um, one of the things that we've, we've done um, with our responsive site is build in um, a, a lot of flexibility for personalization. So um, a lot of things like um, spare divs and things like that that we can then drop content in. So we've got lots of containers that allow us to personalize the site. So a bit fuzzy that, but uh, this is a, a screenshot from our mobile homepage. Um, so what we're introducing here is, is a fast and easy checkout. So um, I, I think it does no harm at all at an early stage in the shopping process is just to flag up good reasons to shop with us. Obviously, we've got some key messages there, but why not uh, just let people know on a mobile shop with us? It's quick and easy to check out. Obvious ones here, but on a product page, obviously, we've got things in our, our FUD bar up here. Um, we're calling out our, our specific benefits. Um, we personalize these depending on the page or the content that you're on. Um, obviously, calling out things like free delivery and recycling. So just starting to introduce um, the, the good reasons to shop with us before we reach the checkout. Moving on to a product page here on the desktop view. Um, we're using um, payment options here. So uh, just getting customers used to the fact that uh, we actually offer a finance solution that's interest free, um, very appealing, um, obviously great for our average transaction value. Um, so here, why not start introducing the fact that a um, you know, product that perhaps might be a, a slightly more um, high end um, is actually very affordable um, when spread over finance. So um, start introducing the, these kind of uh, triggers here early on in the, in the journey. Obviously, um, also stating delivery options and times, um, just getting customers um, warm to the idea that um, you know, it's, it's uh, going to be a, a, an easy easy transaction um, and as we move on to the basket um, particularly for uh, a big ticket product uh, purchase like um, beds or bedroom furniture um, you want to have confidence as a consumer and um, so we're showing security and trust messages um, for example at the top we've got 100% secure message secure basket um, secure checkout um, Norton secured trust pilot um, so looking at these kind of messages around just trying to um, encourage the customer that, that uh, you know, it's a safe place to shop. Um, of course, depending on whether the customer is um, shopping for the first time or a peak customer, might dictate how you, how you show these messages. For example, if someone's coming back, we probably don't need to, to reinforce the fact it's secure, they're, they're comfortable shopping with us, so we can start to remove some of that content and just declutter the page somewhat. Um, providing help and support. Um, this is really, really important to, to, uh, to Dreams. Um, it's a very considered purchase. Um, you know, the customer's spending a, a lot of money with us. They're buying a bed, which they're going to sleep on for somewhere between seven to ten years. Um, so they really need to feel um, confident in, in that they're making the right choice. So um, obviously we show them help messages. Um, one of the things since I've been here that we've, we've, we've really grown uh, our business is, is in telesales. Um, quite often there's customers that um, aren't going to be comfortable purchasing directly through the website. Um, so why not give them the option to speak to somebody over the phone, um, talk through their concerns and uh, you know, convert them through um, the telesales channel. Uh, and we've, we've really grown that side of the business over the last year. Um, Obviously, live chat or video chat is another great feature that um, you know, we, we've brought in, um, again, as a, as a reassurance, really, to customers that um, you know, they're making the right decision and we can help just guide them. Um, you know, most of our customers um, just need that little bit of tipping over the edge um, just to get them to, to convert <coughs> with us. Um, so opportunities as well on, on the basket page. For us, we've got um, various services and guarantees that we've got 
apologies, it's a bit fuzzy there, but um, things like the 10 year guarantee that we do, we do offer an assembly service, um, bed mattress recycling. So this, this is the, the, the place for us where we start to, to really try and encourage the, uh, the addition of uh, an attachment of these kind of items. So for us, um, getting the customer to put something into their basket should, should feel simple. Um, and then here we can start to introduce the concept of these other great um, services that Dreams has to, to help them with their purchase. Um, on the mobile, um, one of the real game changers for us was uh, adding PayPal Express. Um, the reason it's been so, so successful for us is, is just the simplicity uh, on, on the mobile of being able to check out an order um, where the customer really can uh, fast track through the checkout. Um, the, the advantage here really is there's so few keystrokes required to be able to check out because you're logging in with PayPal, um, you're auto populating uh, all your form fields. Um, so really it's, it's uh, you know, as simple as, as a login bring all that detail back into our systems, uh, allow them to check out. So, so on a mobile, very few keystrokes required just to get that, that order to, to, through the system. Um, big one as well, decluttering. Um, so just removing any sort of distractions in the checkout um, just to keep the, the focus on completing the checkout. Um, so we've done a lot of uh, A-B testing and experimenting with the kind of things that we should be taking out, we can remove, uh, and the effect that that has uh, on conversion. Um, obvious one is, is only ask for the essential stuff. So if we, don't need, <coughs> if we don't need to take it, don't take it. We can always ask later if we need more information, but the, the less that we can ask is, is going to increase our conversion as well. Um, an obvious one is obviously things like uh, validation errors, just making sure that the, uh, the checkout is really streamlined. There's no, no issues there. Um, a big one is uh, HTML5 form fields. So if a customer needs to type in a phone number, make sure you show them the numeric keypad. Um, just make things simple, make it easy. Um, we're actually going to do another um, project shortly where we're going to declutter the, the, uh, the checkout and, and the login and really make it minimal uh, and see, see what effect that has. So um, you know, keep testing, keep trying different ways, different ideas. Um, abandonments, uh, obviously we're here today to talk about abandonments, it's a big one for us, um, particularly given in mind that, uh, as we said, Dreams, um, very considered purchase buying a bed. Um, you know, we, we know that a lot, a lot of people are going to be coming on um, looking at product, maybe put it in the basket, they're then probably going to go into store, um, try something out, maybe come back. Um, you know, as well, I think these days there's a lot of people are using various different devices. So um, you know, a journey with Dreams might start uh, on a mobile, it might involve going into a store, it might be on a tablet, come back to a desktop. So all these different devices that people are doing, using uh, in their experience with Dreams, um, how do we make sure that we, we uh, give them a, a great experience? Um, you know, cross, cross device recovery is important for us. So, for example, here on, on the, uh, the, the basket, we give people the option to be able to send themselves the, the, the content of their cart, um, send themselves an email. Um, they can then um, use that email to then um, populate that content back onto uh, a different browser on a different device, so they're migrating their cart to, to wherever they choose. Um, we also use this as a, uh, a feature if, if we see abandonment behavior at this stage, so if it looks like someone's going to exit the site, we can then pop this up as well. Um, this is fairly new to us, but we're seeing some, some um, good uptake in this, um, simple to set up, um, and, and really helping um, just catch some extra conversions there. Um, and as we're moving them through onto the delivery piece, um, encourage upgrades. So um, we offer a free delivery service, which is to your door. Um, quite a simple one here is uh, a message that might pop up if they've ordered um, some heavy mattresses. If anyone's tried to move a mattress uh, up onto their second floor, a king size mattress, you know those things are heavy. Um, so good opportunity just to have a, 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 a message just to say, you know, are you sure you want to do this? We're quite happily take it up. Why not upgrade? Um, you know, and again, we can we can 
um, optimize the presentation and the tone of voice just to, to get the, the right feel. Um, we might choose to vary that depending on the type of customer that we've got. Um, I think an important one really is just managing customers' expectations, um, you know, guiding them through the process so it's clear to them at what stage they are, um, you know, how much they've got left to complete, um, making it very clear as to um, what parts they've completed, what's left to do. Um, just avoiding any surprises, uh, one of the things we've really tried hard to do, particularly with the services add-ons we've got and the complexity of, of some of that, is trying to manage um, their expectations so that there's no um, surprises, they don't get to any page and suddenly the delivery price has gone up to £39. If, if we're going to do something like um, they're adding on a service which is going to force them to have a paid delivery, then be clear and upfront on that um, beforehand. Um, I think there's nothing worse than reaching, reaching a page and then finding that, that a price has changed. So we're really keen to avoid that situation. Um, obviously, the obvious one, state selected sizes and options. Uh, we want customers to be absolutely crystal clear on what they've, they've put into their basket so we don't have any cancellations, particularly given some of our product is made to order. Um, be, be clear on the delivery dates, the times, uh, what's going to happen next. So just managing the customer through that journey so that they're, they're happy, they know what's going on. And uh, for us, so the results then, so mobile conversion, we've grown that 22% year on year. Mobile revenue is 121% year on year. Tablet revenue is up 7%. Average transaction value is up 18%. And our online sales growth so far this year against last year is plus 26%. Okay. And finally, um, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I'm only going to give you the advice as from what I know from my experience of working on the Dream site is think mobile first. Um, for me, this is a really important one, is lots of small incremental gains, gains collectively make a big difference. So particularly when you're thinking about A-B testing and personalization, you've only got to move the conversion dial just a tiny, tiny percent, particularly on big ticket items. Put lots of those in and suddenly you're making a big difference and the numbers really come through. Test and trial continually. Um, we might do a, a test, we get great results, um, and then we find, um, you know, if we retest that again a few months later, um, is com the, the, the landscape's completely changed. So we like to continually test and continually trial, always challenge ourselves, um, make data-driven decision-making, and uh, for us, learning through session replay. So actually looking at what's happening um, with our customers on site. Okay. Thank you very much.